glance of this hive. I've got two hives here. Both little nukes that I've made. They both appear to have life, which is always good. They've got plenty of sugar in it, but they're not needing it. They're actually made, obviously bringing in their own sugar, which is good. Got a water source just here. Another hive there. So this is a little four frame nuke. And it's only got three frames in it at the moment, but I have been feeding them. It's a fairly quiet little hive. If you listen, quiet and contented. And there's the queen right here by the hive tool. This is a queen that I have bred. Um, this nuke is maybe two months old and she's quiet. She's, she's quietly, happily going about her business, being tended to by the other bees at the moment. I'll just have a look. I'll have to turn the frame up inside out in the sun and see if I can find any cells. But there's our queen. She's quite happy. She's not flighty at all, which is lovely to see. She is down the bottom there. That's the last frame. into it. It's not, not a very heavy frame, it's quite light. See if we can... Okay, so just comparing that one to the one beside it, which I'm about to open. This was a split that the queen never actually took. So there was no queen cell from day one. Now right from the start, they're on me. As you can see, they're capping. But it's mostly probably sugar water because they've had nothing else to do except for taking down the sugar I've given them they are out foraging, there's no eggs, no nothing. And this one has got a lot of it capped in there. So I'm actually going to combine these two hives. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray sugar water all over the frame. Getting all the bees covered in sugar water. There's the one with the queen on it. I'm just going to put that right next to the new one. I'm hoping to get some eggs off one of the other frames.
So, just as a comparison, this is a little microphone. That's the sound of a happy hive. It's not queen right, and they know it. I've just rocked the hive by mistake, it's very light. So that's all brand new comb and it looks like they're putting stuff in it as well. It's starting to be capped. So I'm a part of the Bunbury um, chapter of the WA Apiary Society. So this is a hive for them. It looks like it's growing quite nicely. They're a little bit jumpy, these ones. So it's fully laid out with eggs and larvae. So they've got plenty of pollen in there. just starting to build out that comb, draw it out, but you can see through the back of the foundation to the pollen underneath. I'm just going to close them back up. So that'll feed them for a bit longer. I'll just close that up and get back on with it. So it's hot, sticky weather. I've got grasshoppers, I've got ants, I've got all kinds of issues going on. But I'm happy because hot, sweaty, but I've got two queen right hives and I've got one that I can put another queen cell in. They're finding nectar from somewhere. It's all looking good. I'll catch up with you next time. Bye. Thank you.